YouTube, what is good? Welcome back to another video. We're back in here, you know, we got a good build for today. And just real quick, like, dude, they, this patch, bro, the patch has been crazy. But outside of like gameplay, they added more builds to this Protoon builder. So I'm actually like super hype about that because we're going to go over one of those today. And they added some really, really good builds, bro. Like, they low key are cooking. I don't know if they're just finding builds in like the community and making them, but they're making some good builds. They got some good build names, and I'm really digging it. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really, I'm really digging it. Um, but yeah, man, if you're new, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and you know, turn on post notes. You don't wanna miss an upload. We're in here grinding, uploading all the time getting some good builds i appreciate y'all for running the views up on the previous videos but let's get right into it today we have another point guard build and its best skill today is balanced archetype generational guard in the description we got a well-rounded pg who excels on both ends of the floor excellent ball skills elite creator for himself and others and on ball defensive menace tough tough as nails stature height 6'3 Weight 213 pounds, wingspan 6'7. Inspired by Baron Davis in 06 07, you know, the Golden State Warriors, the We Believe Warriors. And bro, if y'all know who Baron Davis is, y'all know about BD. BD was different. And they low key made this build different. But let's go ahead and get right into it. You guys know me. I don't like to go over the smaller attributes. We like to go over the ones that weigh the most. And we're going to start out, we got an 80 driving layup. So off rip, that's pretty good for a driving layup. Um, I think that's pretty high. Perfect for Baron Davis, I think. Um, he was definitely attacking the rack, able to shoot the ball. But we got an 80 driving layup. You're gonna be able to get some good layup animations. You're gonna get um, layup mix master on bronze. You're gonna get, I'm pretty sure you get flip game. Yeah, you get flip game on silver. So you're gonna get some good layup animations. But then you get an 87 driving dunk, which is fire, bro. Cause that's high enough with the vertical. You're gonna be able to get contact dunks, pro contact dunks, which I think is fire, bro. You're gonna be able to boom on people. This build is just like, so far, so good. Like, I'm really liking what I'm seeing. But then you're gonna get a 79 mid range. And that's, it's not high, it's not too low. I think it's perfect where it is, but you get an 89 three pointer. And no cap, that 89 three pointer slaps, bro. You're gonna get gold set shot specialist. You're gonna get silver limitless range. You're gonna get gold or silver shifty shooter. You're gonna get some good stuff. And also to mention with 87 driving duck, you're gonna get silver posterizer, bro. So you will be booming on people. But into the playmaking, we got 85 pass accuracy, bro. Like that is, this build is crazy. Like it's honestly crazy. You get gold dimer on this build. Like this is the perfect guard. I'm not gonna lie. It's like the perfect all around guard so far. Ball handle, you got a 92. So you're gonna get that freaking gold unpluckable you're going to get silver ankle assassin you're going to get gold handles for days and then 91 speed with ball like come on bro come on like it's not getting much better than this like this is one of the best builds you can make 63 build with a 67 wingspan you got long arms you're going to get lightning launch on hall of fame you're going to get hall of fame strong handle like bro what were they doing they were cooking in here like it's, I have to give 2K a W because they were really cooking in here. But on to the defense, you're gonna get a 68 interior defense. Now that's not a lot, but I do like the 68 because I feel like that's just slightly enough if you go into the paint against another guard for you to be able to put hands up and get a stop. Now hands up doesn't work too well this year, but whenever your hands are up and you get a good contact animation playing hands up defense, you're usually gonna get a stop. But then you got 85 perimeter defense, which is more than enough defense, bro. So you could take this build everywhere. You could take this build 1v1s. You could take this build twos. You could take this build to threes, fives. Like you could take this build everywhere. Why? Because you got perimeter defense. You don't have to worry about switching too often. You don't have to worry about being a liability. You got high pass accuracy. You got high ball handle. You got the three ball. You got the driving dunk. Like this build is crazy, bro. And then you get a 91 steal. So you're gonna get gold glove and gold interceptor. Like you, you really can't ask for much more. Like this build is absolutely ridiculous. Like you're getting everything. Like the generational guard archetype name is like legit perfect for this build. Like it, this build can do everything. 
Now you're not gonna have any high flying denier. Am I happy about that? Not at all. But with everything else you're getting, it's like, okay, that's cool. You can use this build in different ways. Like it's not, it's not a mainly 1v1 build. I like to have high flying denier on my build because I play a lot of 1v1s. You get no rebound. Into the physicals, you're gonna get an 86 speed, 77 agility, which I'm not too happy about, but it could definitely be worse. Like thousand percent could be worse. Um, you still got high perimeter and 77 agility still like, I'm not gonna say high, but it's still on the higher side. So you're gonna be able to play defense very easily. But then you get 85 strength. Like, bro, I don't even know what to say. Like you get gold immovable enforcer on this build. You playing deep defense ain't gonna be a problem. It's not gonna be a problem at all. But then you're gonna get 75 vertical. And once again, I'll reiterate, you're gonna get contact dunks on this build. So the build's able to do everything. Let's go over your badge potential and what badges you're gonna get. So you're not gonna get any legend badges, but Hall of Fame, you're gonna get lightning launch and strong candle. Two really good badges to have on Hall of Fame. Gold, you're gonna get aerial wizard, dimer, glove, handles for days, and movable enforcer, interceptor, off ball pest, set shot specialist, sip, slippery off ball, and unpluckable. Those are fire to have at the gold level. Like those are really good badges to have at the gold level. And I really, really, really like that. You get those badges at that level. At silver, you're gonna get ankle assassin, break starter, challenger, dead eye, float game, limitless range, mini marksman, which I didn't even peep. You're gonna get mini marksman on this build. On ball menace, physical finisher, pick dodger, posterizer, shifty shooter. Once again, for the level that they're at and the badges that they are, these are really good badges at silver. Like they are wonderful badges at silver. And at bronze, you're gonna get bailout, which is a really good badge to have on bronze. You're gonna get versatile visionary on bronze. Also, another good badge to have on bronze. And then layup mix master, not the best, but at least you have it. Um, I think this is a fire build. We're gonna hit continue, see what other shades we get. You got Baron Davis, Kevin Johnson, De'Aaron Fox. Like this is, this is a crazy build, bro. Now the other two aren't too generational. Baron Davis was definitely ahead of his time. Your archetype, generational guard. I think this is a fire build. This build could be used everywhere. Um, as far as the build being Baron Davis, I would give it an A minus because I feel like BD was just not that strong. He was just bigger than your traditional point guard. And as far as using this build in different game modes, I'm gonna give this build an A plus. Like this is this is the type of guard build that I feel like can be used everywhere. One of the best guard builds on the game. Perfect all around guard build. Can play defense, can finish, can shoot the three ball, can play make, you know, can do it all. That's what you want out of your builds. That's what I want out of my builds. But you guys let me know how you feel about the build. Is it trash? Is it fire? What would you change about it if you want to make it any better? I wouldn't change anything. I like it how it is. Plus I want the generational guard build. And I'm not telling you guys to make this build, but this is a fire build. If you don't like going in the builder and making builds and you want to make a point guard, make this build, bro. But I think the build is fire. You guys let me know in the comment section what you guys think. And um, hit that like button if you made it this far. Subscribe if you're new, turn on post notice. And yeah, um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.